Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Shock vs. Steel Race Diamond Pearl. How are you doing, Steel? Pretty good, considering you didn't steal my intro this time. <laughs> I just wanted to do that once, plus I couldn't remember it this time. Anyway, let's get started. Yes, let's. I am dead. That's a good way to start a video. You are dead. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I can beat this guy easily. I just didn't take the precautions to. Mm -hmm. Oh god, the bomb screen looks so sad. I always have my bottom screen on the one showing all the Pokemon's health, and they're all just grayed out and empty. Yep. Oh god, that is sad. Rip in pepperoni. Okay, Pokemon. Sorry that you guys won't be getting those levels you dearly need, but I need to live. All right. Ugh. You singing to the music? Yeah, I'm singing to the music. No, I don't want to plant a berry. I want orange berries or whatever you have. You I'm just going to give my Pokemon orange berries. Tell you what, I'm going to grind a little this episode. That way you get sort of a chance to catch up. Okay. Well, I've basically been not, not exactly grinding, but I've been doing a lot of switch training. Are you so. about, do you battle every trainer or do you just kind of avoid them? I've been battling each trainer, I believe. Yeah, that's what I do. I At battle in... every trainer, try to avoid random encounters as much, though. Yeah, I, that's basically what I do. I used to just, like, plow through the grass and avoid trainers at all costs, but then my Pokemon would always be really low-leveled for them, for, like, the area. And then I'd have to grind against wild Pokemon, so then I was like, let's fix this by just battling every single trainer that I find, and then... I'll have all that extra experience because they give bonus experience compared to yeah oh yeah Wild they're Pokemon. they're great yeah I I don't like random encounters but I do try and battle you most know, every trainer you know we forgot about a steel type that's in this game which one Wormadam right that steel type I I did not remember. If you want to add that to your team, be my guest. I have no idea what it would replace. Um, probably either Shinx, which you probably don't want to replace this late into having it, or, um, Starly, but that you kind of need Fly. Yeah. So, I don't know. It... Uh, if you want to do it to make your team more steel, go for it. If not, do whatever you want. But yeah, that doesn't show up as steel type necessarily. I'll just keep so. it in my party for now, and then I'll just get rid of it later. You're keep oh, you're grabbing a Wormadam? Well, I, I can't just find a random Wormadam. First I have to make it a Burmy, and then I have to or, make yeah. the Burmy the trash yeah, but, type. I mean, so you... It's going to be sort of your bidoof to your team will be there until farther notice type thing. Yeah. If I can get one from a honey tree. I think that's the only way you can find him. Yeah. So I'll have to buy honey or something. No, see, I'll do that this episode there. And then but it only give you a appears in a up. city, right? No. Burmese or... can appear on those honey trees, but they can only change. They they have to change the oh, trash the, type by doing a battle Burmese, in the city. The Burmese changes in the after Wormadam. It's yeah. straight, right? Yeah, I never really. I don't use bug types that much. I've rarely used bug types before, so I'm not really well versed on how Burmese works. Oh God. Stupid orange berry. I think I should just beat this guy with one Pokemon, though. Which kind of puts my previous battle to shame. I shouldn't have tried to use it as a learning experience for my lower-leveled Pokemon. Because now I've beat Mars. 
business is leveling up. It's a chance you just use soft build when it was down like four health. Oh, what a bitch. Okay. And I'm done with that. I almost got two level ups due to that. Nobody cares about the story, just skip ahead of it. Okay. I I kind of what we were talking about Pokemon sounds a while ago. Mm -hmm. I kind of want to catch a Cricketune just so that I can click on it on the bottom screen and have it do its sound repeatedly. Cause Cricketune has a pretty good sound. No. Nah. Whoop. It's it's the most memorable. I'm, I'm well aware, yes. Yeah. But, okay, Sphinx, oh. you're you're level twenty two now, so I think there you're fairly well leveled, I'd say. Yeah. And I'm dealing with a couple level sevens, or I guess they're both now level eight. But trying to level up some level eight Pokemon. Maybe when I get it. No. I did the thing. No! Eh, I accidentally double healed my Pokemon. Hate it when that happens. You're mashing A and... That's why I mash B. Yeah. I mash I... A and then I mash B. Yeah. Well, I was mashing A and B, I believe, which caused the issue. But... It's so weird to be seeing Murkrows, like, commonly in this forest. Were they that Were they that uncommon in previous games? Yeah, or? in uh, Gold and Silver, they were really rare. Hmm. I never really paid much attention to Murkrow, so... Well, because they got an evolution in this game, remember? Yeah, Honchcrow. Honchcrow. Super luck. It's, I think it's the only Pokemon in the game that gets super luck. It's what cool. does super luck do? It... I don't remember actually. This is crit chance or something. Yeah, I think that's it. By the way, I don't think we mentioned this on video, but I was completely wrong about the heat proof ability, and Steel was right. So, as always, sorry about that. Yeah, but heat I proof was... is a fifty percent reduction to heal and burn. I mean, uh, fire and burn. To healing. Yeah. <laughs> Why were you? Reduction to healing. Yeah. But, so I was wrong, but I was right on the fact that since Generation 5, Poison has no effect outside of battle. Yeah, which I still don't believe, but I guess it's just because it never showed up on my screen that I didn't ever think about it, so I was like, oh. Like, it, it just didn't occur to me that it had been taken out, but it's because I just didn't notice it, so. Yeah. Yeah. So, I would be... I keep getting annoyed because I'm coming across a flying type, so of course Pachirisu would be great, but he's not strong enough, has no electric type moves. Or, oh, here's a fire type. I should be great against him, but, oh crud, my Buizel's not strong enough. So... Oh, fuck. You have to, like, come back to these things with honey, don't you? Oh, God. You have to, like, wait a couple days. That's right. It's not like an instant encounter. I'm pretty sure they appear in the forest in general, don't they? Are you sure they don't? I'm pretty sure they don't. Yeah. Well, business grew another level, so he's gonna... getting super strong. I'm gonna look it up. You're looking it up? Yeah. Okay. Yep, I'm gonna look it up right now. Meanwhile, I get to fight more hikers and more people. Wait, are you back in Floroma? Um, I'm past Floroma, baby. I thought you, I thought you got the honey in Floroma. Yeah, you do. Oh, so you went? Oh, never. Never mind. I'm being stupid. But I think maybe I'll just level up one at a time. When one's high enough level, I'll level up the other. 
and not try and swap out both each time one gets a level. Yep, diamond, pearl, platinum, sweet honey trees. Is this gonna show up in your video or? No. It's not capturing that window. Okay. Land cloak, sandy cloak, trash cloak. Trash cloak you get from buildings. Yes. Burmese form changes after each battle depending on the environment it just battled in. So I would have to make it evolve in a building, with like a gym, I guess. Yes. And it's level like 20. Like a city environment where Team Galactic is. Right. Alright, well that was somewhat interesting. This girl has nice hair. Cheryl. Is Cheryl the green-haired girl in the yes. woods who I haven't met yet? Mm-hmm. I'm coming for you, Cheryl. That sounds really creepy. Wow. <laughs> Creeper right here. S boom. Don't, don't ever <laughs> make that sound again. Don't make Minecraft references, but but Minecraft. It's it's a game that people like. Don't you don't you know what's cool to not like Minecraft, Chuck? I, I did a partial let's play of it on my channel a while back. I'm just teasing you. I played Minecraft Jobin. too on yeah. my channel. With Jobin, that did not end well. Okay. Who is he saying up? I should have switched. That's my problem. I'm not paying attention to who they're actually sending out. Okay. God, the animations in this game are so slow. Yeah. As we, I was saying, this is one of the slowest, or I believe the slowest Pokemon game. Just everything wise. I guess there could be some strategy in choosing moves for your Pokemon that have shorter animations. Just little pieces of strategy like that. Mm -hmm. Why does this girl even have a chancy? Does she have right. any Pokemon other than this Chansey? What happens if this Chansey dies? Does she send out another one? It should show. I, I, or I guess with the team it doesn't always. Yeah, it's not like the multi-battle where you can see the other person's Pokemon. This is like... Yeah. Because I still well, have I, my own It would show in the, like, Pokeball number. Not necessarily you could see her Pokemon, but no, yeah. I think it would only ever show mine, because I have, like, if I had six, it's not going to show, like, eight Pokemon, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So, for the longest time when I played this game, I never knew what the shaking Pokeball meant, but it actually just means that that Pokemon is close to leveling up. I thought it had something to do with health or... A move that it has that's super effective against the enemy, or maybe it's, I don't know, like had something to do with its personality type, but it's it's straight up just, it's close to bubbling up. Really? Yep. Wait, how much a Pokeball shakes before it catches? No, no, no. Or... I'm talking about when you're in a battle. Oh. On the top of the screen, above like the fight, bag, run, all that stuff, it shows all your Pokeballs. And if it's shaking, that means it's going to level up. Oh, I've never even noticed one shaking. That was not something that I ever paid attention to. Wow. Huh. I'll have to keep an eye out for that. Huh. This guy's obviously not an expert at the game. I haven't played Diamond. Is that in all games or just Diamond and Pearl? It's in Diamond and Pearl. I don't know if it's in any other games. I mean, okay. Platinum. Because Diamond and Pearl is probably my least played of the games. Oh, the old chateau. I totally forgot that was in this forest. Ooh, another all right. I defeated Hiker Daniel. 
Yay. Why wouldn't that girl, like, pay me for ex escorting her through the forest? What a bitch. Or give me a TM or something. Or an, an or egg, maybe, of a rare Pokemon. Yeah. I'm not even gonna insinuate anything there. Oh, a Shellos. That was quick. Shellos. You wanna give the interesting Shellos trivia I told you, or should I? No, I've forgotten it. I mean, Shellos. I know what it is, but... We're originally going to be in uh, Ruby Sapphire Emerald. They were found in the game's code, but they are not in that game. They're taken out, and there is apparently going to be one ver variant, sort of a mix between the two, instead of the East and West version we know now. Yes. Yay, trivia time with Shockwave. I need, like, a jingle for that. Just hit that ridiculous bell. I don't have that with me here. Rip. Unfortunately. I could get it from the home the next time I visit home, but... Man, Intimidate is, like, really cool to have, but it is so annoying to deal with. Because it just... Every cause... single battle starts yeah. off with a pause, and then lowering of stats, and then... Pause and then intimidate, reduce weasel's attack. And you have on two of your Pokemon, right? Yep. God. Yeah, I don't think I have mine to have super intrusive abilities. Weasel, I believe, just has Swift Swim. So. Swift Swim sucks. I mean, it's great when you have, uh, like, rain, but. Rain is for yeah, minutes. I'm not using a rain team here, so. How long ago did we start, roughly? Like Car 16, 17 minutes. Oh, so we're getting close on the end. Yes, ma'am. Check the previous two times, but forgot this time. Oh, well. And business, er, business didn't level. Somebody leveled up. I'm guessing it was Flotsam. Or Jetsam or whatever I'm calling him. I think I thought... it's okay. I think it's weird that uh, in forests you have patches of grass that you can run through, but in caves you just randomly get encountered with Pokemon. Like, why wouldn't they do that for a forest too? If it's always isolated, you know? Yeah. I think. Or there have been some forests in the past where you can just run into Pokemon anywhere, I believe. But yeah, I think there could be something in caves that made it so there weren't Pokemon everywhere. Then you could avoid the Zubat problem. But, I don't know. I think it's just because they want grass to be everywhere where it's logical so it makes sense for grass to be in forests but not in caves so yeah they were like I, forced to do but like they'd well, rather not have the random encounter like, thing i guess in in diving they have seaweed instead of grass so i think there could be something in in caves to be its equivalent but not be grass i'm just trying to think what could that be what would fit Dirt. Tall dirt. <laughs> don't, wait, don't go into the tall dirt. Wild Pokemon are there. Thinking like stalagmites or something. Mites is the one on the ground, yeah. But that wouldn't like work well. I know, it's harder in caves, I guess. Yeah, not yeah. all caves have stalagmites, stalactites. One thing I had always wanted in Pokemon was for them to add actual flying through the sky and have, like, clouds that you could go through that could contain wild Pokemon. Yep, and me so, too. And then they finally added it, and I was super happy. Yeah, I mean, they sort of added it, but it's it's pretty good. Yeah, I, I hope they continue to do that in the future, not necessarily with flying, but with 
uh, transitioning HMs to items. Like now you can fly, or it's a bit slower, but you can use the Eon Flute, which you get later on after fly. And I would love it if, um, if, so we have fly now, but if we got things for that, like surf, but you get them later in the game, so it doesn't necessarily replace surf, it just becomes easier later on, or even after you beat the game. Just having an option to have an axe for cut and a boat for surf. Yeah. Like, I, I, I think they added a lot of great things to Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. Like, the whole, like, getting the egg moves was fantastic. Um, the Eon Flute is also fantastic. Like, it's so fun. So amazing. Yeah. I love it. It's fun, and it's, it's convenient, because you never have to have a flyer in your team. You can always use it. Yeah. And then the other thing is, um, on the, okay, there, there's actually two breeding places. Oh, yeah, I, yeah. And the one on the island, at the end of the game, has it so that you can literally just hold right, or hold left on the edge, and you will always go in circles infinitely. Huh. I'm not sure, I didn't do a lot of breeding in... Omega in Oris, so yeah, I not sure if I really picked up on that. We should probably end this off. So, wow. thank you guys for watching, and be sure to check out Steel's channel if you're on mine, or my channel if you're on Steel's. See the other audio, and have a fantastic day. Have a Bye -bye. horrible, horrible day. I'm just kidding. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye.